Welcome back to my little Christmas series. I wish you all are having a great holiday season. I have many pictures and some videos from renovating that I'd like to show you and tell you a story about. This happened around the beginning of 2021. We started painting the ceilings. Ideally, we should empty the roof first, but we were facing a huge job of emptying the apartment. Especially with the full-time jobs, because we live in the top floor without elevator. So we cover up, covered up stuff first, and then started moving stuff around. Yeah. The ceilings are mostly okay, but in some places we needed to repair with a special filler for ceilings. In the kitchen it had no ventilation and all cooking fumes had made a mess behind the cabinet. And the mortar in the ceiling was coming apart in the corner. I bought something called Who's Fix or House Fix. It's a cement you mix with water. It turned out great. I sanded it with our wall and ceiling sand. She's saying it's making a lot of noise. Or it's noisy. <laughs> The walls had this glass fiber, itchy wallpaper. Underneath the wallpaper was a paint that wasn't coming off easily. Due to this unevenness, a paint job on this would look terrible, so we decided to put a roll-on filler. We had bad luck with the first one, which bought. It wouldn't spread out easily, but getting a more wet filler, it was easy though. If I worked on the same place for too long, old glass fiber particles would start loosening from the solvents in the filler and cause streaks when I used a putty knife. When I applying the second layer, the first layer would dissolve with the solvents in the filler after a minute. So I had to work on only one place at a time before going to the next and leave it or else it would cause tearing. We tried a small sanding machine but we bought a wall and ceiling sander. It was much easier to get a good finish with that. On the third layer we just filled the spots in and it was better to use a flat sanding thingy on a broomstick thingy. I don't know the English term, sorry. The paint job was pretty straightforward, rolling it on, spraying out, trying not to cause any thick lines, not going back in a place that had started drying, etc. Then dry and repeat. By the way, this is our future bedroom. For some reason I like to film her shadow. I thought it was uh, interesting. Here is the second layer. The good thing is that the paint looks different when wet, so you know where you have been. Oh, and we sanded in between the layers. We took down this cupboard wardrobe thing. It took brute force, let me tell you that, and we whacked it. 
It had screws and nails in every size possible. We are going to put up a wardrobe here with the sliding doors. Now we are back in the BWAP cave. The ceiling is painted, the walls are getting a layer of filler or mud as they say in America I think. Here you can see the old flooring. Here is the 10 liter bucket of wall filler. <laughs> Roll on type, not really rollable. But it's kind of sexy, I think. <laughs> so you roll it on, and then you try your best to spread it out. And then spread it out. Ew, it was me bad. Alright, so there you have the first stripe. Then you use your putty knife to uh, spread it out. Or even it. Or level it with the rest of the wall. Kind of. <laughs> when you have to scratch off as much as you can, or else you just have to sand it down afterwards. So, yeah, so you just put that back in the back. Sorry for the vertical video. This is how I did the corners. It's a corner tape, basically just paper with a fold. Then a lot of filler underneath. Here you can see me pressing the filler out. An old Hammond organ. <laughs> can you recognize the song? I'm telling you, she is a sexy painter. Inu's helping me painting again, uh, again we have used lady paint from Newton called Lady Wonderwall. This color is white, or it's called she, I don't know what it means. This is me just I was really happy with this paint job and I don't this is like the second time I do this in my life or third actually I think and I never uh, really done any good had any good results with this before and here you can see the socket or the light switch it's kind of dangerous And thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're having a great holiday. See you another time. Bye-bye.